Does eating a high fat diet make you fat? Hey, this is Dr. Ruscio. Wanted to briefly throw a, a thought out there that I think will help a lot of people. Um, if you've been following the huge bolus of gut research that's, that's being published over the past couple of years, you've probably heard something about endotoxins or endotoxemia or lipopolysaccharides. Um, these, these bacterial compounds that tend to leak through the gut when you eat a high fat diet. Okay, essentially the bottom line of, of this, this point is if you eat a lot of fats, you'll have more LPS or lipopolysaccharides that get in the bloodstream through the gut and that can cause inflammation and insulin resistance. This is one of the main points that has been used to criticize a higher fat diet when viewed to the context of the gut and gut health and or leaky gut. So again, the, the point is that, that that's being made here is that eating high fat diet increases lipopolysaccharide, um, lipopolysaccharide being this, this fraction of, of bacterial cell walls. When that leaks into the gut to the bloodstream, it causes inflammation and insulin resistance. So therefore you should not eat a high fat diet. It seems to be true that eating a high fat diet can cause this LPS migration and may partially cause insulin resistance. However, I think a really important counterpoint to that is if you're eating a, a higher fat or moderate fat diet, but you're also eating a low carb diet, then the lower carb diet also has an effect on helping to regulate insulin sensitivity. And it's my estimation that if you weigh out both of those, you actually come to a net insulin favorable environment if you're going to eat a little bit more fat and less carbs. So again, eating the fat might cause this LPS to leak through the gut. The LPS may cause insulin resistance, yes. However, those effects I think can be almost completely counteracted if you're eating a low carbohydrate diet and keep you very insulin sensitive. The reason I say this is it's been clearly shown in numerous weight loss trials that low carb diets work. So is there a need to get really freaked out about this LPS piece? I don't think so because I think you can very easily maintain your insulin sensitivity as long as you're eating a, a healthy diet that is moderate or higher in fat which would also be lower in carb. Definitely can't do high fat, high carb. So a deep concept but uh, hopefully for those of you who are wrestling with that, this will be helpful. This is Dr. Ruscio and hope this helps. Thanks.